In the previous video, I introduced the idea of a determinant, a number associated to a matrix which measures the effect on size and orientation. Now I show you, want to show you how to calculate it. The algorithm is a recursive algorithm. Each step is a reduction, and the algorithm repeats itself after each reduction. The base case is a 2x2 two two matrix. Remember that all of this only applies to square matrices. For a 2x2 two two matrix A, B, C, D, the determinant is A, D minus B, C. The determinant is often written as a matrix with bars instead of parentheses as a shorthand notation. For the matrix 1, negative 3, 2, negative 1, the AD minus BC pattern gives 1 times negative 1 minus negative 2 times negative 3, which is negative 1 plus 6, or 5. This tells me that this matrix will multiply all areas by 5. If there is a rectangle of size 6, then after this matrix there will be a new shape, may no longer be a rectangle, but it will have area 30, which is 6 times 5. Area is multiplied by 5. And orientation is also preserved. Counterclockwise paths will remain counterclockwise paths. That's the 2x2 two two case. How do I handle larger matrices? Well, I want to reduce them down to 2x2. Two two. To that end, I'm going to need this pattern. This is a checkerboard of plus and minuses for any square matrix. There's always a plus in the top left, and then the checker batter, checkerboard pattern continues as far as it needs to. I'll use this pattern in the next slide. Here's how the reduction works. If I have a 3x3 three three matrix, I take any row or any column of the matrix. In this case, I've chosen the first row. I write the entries for that row, 5, negative 2, and 0. Then I apply the checkerboard of signs from the previous slide. So that's positive for 5, negative for negative 2, and positive for 0. Finally, each entry is multiplied by a smaller matrix. For 5, I delete both the row and the column that contain 5, and the resulting 2 by 2 matrix is 3, negative 2, negative 5, 3. I'm going to write that here. For the negative 2, I again delete the row and the column that contained that negative 2, and see what is left over. The result is a 2 by 2 matrix with negative 3, negative 2, 1, and 3. And finally, for the 0, I delete its row and column and write down the four entries which are left. In this way, I turn a 3 by 3 determinant into three 2 by 2 determinants. I know how to do a 2 by 2 determinant. It's the AD minus BC pattern. So I do those three determinants here. And after doing all the arithmetic on the slide here, I get negative 19. This matrix multiplies all areas by 19 and reverses orientation in R3, changing the right-hand rule into a left-hand rule. This is the algorithm, and it's called cofactor expansion. There are 4x4 four four examples in the activities. For those, I apply the reduction twice. I choose a row or column of the 4x4 four four and do this cofactor expansion using the checkerboard signs. I get four different 3x3 three three matrices out of that. Then for each of these, I reduce again, getting three 2x2 two two matrices for each. And the result is four, four times three is 12 different 2x2 two two matrices, which get combined with a bunch of arithmetic to actually make the determinant. 